Should you reach out to them? Is it time for you to text them? What do you need to know in today's tarot card reading? Welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England and I'm dedicated to bringing you daily tarot reading, insightful messages and spiritual guidance to help you with life's ups and downs. My mission is to inspire and empower you to live your best life and to tap in to your inner wisdom so you can untangle your most complex connections. Private readings are always available. Um, yeah, join me every day for a little bit of positivity. So do you need to text them? Is it time, time for you to reach out to them? I'm going to do a connection spread between you both and I'll tell you everything I'm picking up and everything I'm feeling. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection. Down this side is you. You've been thinking about it for a while, but you're in a place of pain right now. Then moving forward, you've got the two of swords. You're not going to decide today. They've put themselves out of reach. They're going to contact you, by the way. You're in this place of pain at the moment, which is understandable. You've been, in the recent past, you've had the Two of Pentacles and they've had the Eight of Swords reversed, which is them being completely uncontactable. They may have blocked you, they may have done things. It feels like some kind of wall between you both. We've got the Page of Cups reversed in the middle of you both at that point, which is kind of like a really lazy energy and it feels like with you having the two of pentacles you've been weighing up your options to do with this connection for quite a while at the moment you're in a load of pain about this and they've got the two of wands they're trying to make plans for the future and you're wondering well am i part of those plans or not in the middle of you both at the moment is the knight of wands reversed which is an indecisiveness a lack of energy all of those kinds of things the two of swords go to your place of inner peace try and pull yourself out of the place of pain and put yourself in a in a place of acceptance if they message you they message you if they don't let them go um the answer to the question is don't message them wait for them to message you because it feels like they're gonna with the eight of wands for them and then the magician in the middle of you both it feels like the universe opening up the placement so that the communication can happen but you're going to be in a place of the two of swords which is their message is going to hit you in a place where it's not high and it's not low. It's not ecstatically happy. It's not unhappy. It's just like, oh, oh, they're messaging me. Um, and it feels like right at this very moment, you feel that them contacting you would make everything so much better. But when they finally do contact you, it's just this place of what will be will be. We'll see what happens. I'll see it. I believe it when I see it. All of those kinds of things. I'm going to pull some charms to give you extra connection to the reading. What else do you need to know about this connection? Oh, yeah, we've got the chemistry set. The chemistry's there between you both. Uh, we've got the tennis racket. So, with my tennis racket, if you're, if you're an old time viewer, you probably know this. Okay, so you've got a tennis ball, you're in your back garden if you have one, or you just have a tennis ball and you have a tennis racket. So you hit your tennis ball at this person and they don't respond. They don't they don't hit it back. So then you think, well, I've got another tennis ball, I'll try again. Maybe they didn't see it, maybe they didn't hear it, maybe they haven't found it. So let me bat this other tennis ball over. I see back the other tennis ball towards them. You don't get anything back. You don't get the first one back. You don't get the second one back. You've got a couple of more tennis balls left. Not very many. So you think, okay, I'll try again. I'll try again. This time when you batter over the fence, you know they're in the garden. You know they heard it because you heard the thump. You know that they've seen it. And then you hear them go into the house. They don't pick it up. They don't bat it back. 
Now you've got a couple of more tennis balls left. Are you going to bat that over the fence to them? Or are you going to try and start a little game with somebody else? And I don't mean game, but a communication. Sometimes when we're really feeling like we want to communicate with somebody and they're not in it and they're not feeling it and we, we kind of open up the energy don't we we then stood in the garden waiting for them to send the ball back and if they don't send the ball back kind of it opens up the energy whereas if you were to bat your ball somewhere else or play against a wall against yourself or take your ball and bat around to a friend's house someone who you know you're going to have really good communication with if you're feeling particularly low at the moment which you may well be with the three of swords reversed Communicate with somebody who you know will be really happy to hear from you, whether it's a parent, a friend, um, someone else that you know that you're going to get a positive response from. It will help you right now. Um, we've got a gold ring. On the other side, it's a baby blue colour. We've also got a baby pink I'm seeing twins for whatever reason, not identical. Um, we have a key to the future. We have a C, an O, and a Z. So Z is sometimes I'm bored with waiting. Why is it taking so long? I'm gonna do a quick nine card spread for you. What else do you need to know in general about your three of swords? Whatever messages are here. I do do private readings. They're always available. If you want to help me get into the algorithm or just help out in some kind of way, leave a comment, any comment. Nice one, positive one. Put a positive message out to the universe. A star to help shine the light in the dark. A heart to just put a bit of love out there. Um, all of the things, whatever, you know we've got their fight yeah you don't want to let go of this person but when they are being immature they're being immature the emperor reversed is someone who doesn't take the blame for anything um if you communicate with this person at the wrong time they're just gonna push it back onto you when it's not your fault the six of rods reversed for me is things will get better for you um, the Knight of Rods reversed, which is here at the moment. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. You don't want to be single. And the Five of Swords, you really want them to fight for you. You want them to play this game with you. And it's not a game. I'm not talking about a game. I'm like, you really want to, you want this communication. You want this back and throw. You want to feel better again. So if you only have one tennis ball left, are you going to send it to the person who might not reply? Or are you going to send it to the person who will? And that's a friend, family member, someone who they see your notification on their phone and they're just so pleased to hear from you. Even your nan, you know, someone and having a really good conversation. The six of swords reversed, it's all been a bit half hearted. The three of pentacles, you're going to be all right. And then we have the temperance reversed. It kind of feels like by the time they get round to messaging you, you might well ignore them. You might be like, oh, no, my happiness is not there. My happiness is not there with them. Um, you've got good people on your side. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is all about focusing on the things you want to change and making those changes happen. So that's what I have for you today. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection as it ain't to take you anyway. And thank you so much for being here with me today. If you've made it this far, you're one of my secret purple heart gang. I really do appreciate you being here. I had an asthma attack. If you've got asthma, like, oh my goodness, I had an asthma attack the first time in a very, very long time. Um, normally it's perfectly fine I was out in nature and I think I had a an allergic reaction to something because I got really swollen and um my eyes my face swelled up and my hands swelled up and then I had an asthma attack but I got it under control pretty quickly thank goodness didn't have to go to hospital thank goodness I uh, went all the way through nearly a whole blue inhaler I hardly ever even have to use it anymore but anyway, there's that. I think my asthma's been a lot better because Rosie's been living in the shed. Um, it has been getting colder here, so I expect her to be 
making her way indoors soon. Um, I hope you're keeping well. I hope whatever life is throwing your way, turn all the negatives into something positive. Also, on my website, I have figured out on my message box page, I have figured out how to embed the playlist so you can watch it. And as long as your settings are on autoplay, it should run through the playlist of my message box. So I figured that out, which I'm really proud of. And there's also still the pull a card page on there as well, where you refresh the page and it will generate a new tarot card. And then you scroll down the bottom and, and read the blurb for it so that's there i really like my website at the moment so yeah i will see you soon